Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics and the topic, topic for this video is how to offer challenging feedback. Sometimes there is something that is happening inside of you in the context of your relationship that you're not really happy about. So the tendency is going to be uh, to be in a reactive mode. Most people, when they feel a challenging emotion rising through them, they are going to take their phone and send a text message. Or if they are at home, they are going to walk straight to their partner in a state of energetic or emotional charge and blast their partner with whatever is alive inside of them, which is going to trigger an energetic response of defense in your partner and then a fight is going to, to follow up on that. So if you want to offer challenging feedback, is there is something in your relationship that you are really not happy about? The first step, First step, okay? First step is to witness what's happening inside of you. You go like, wow, I'm really angry right now. That's interesting. That really pisses me off. I'm really triggered inside of me. So first you witness, okay? The second thing that you want to do is understand that you don't want this challenge to create separation between the two of you. If your goal is to be in a relationship with that person, then what you want is to find a way of using that challenge to bring you closer to each other. So, guess what? If you walk to your partner and you attack them verbally, most of the times they are going to retreat, they are going to, 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 to contract, they are going to shut down sexually, they are, it's going to create a separation. You might end up sitting, uh, sleeping in different, different rooms, or you might end up breaking up, you know. So, if the intention is to create connection with your couple, in a, with your partner, and you are triggered, and there is an emotion, challenging emotion, and you have to offer feedback to that person, you have to be really smart in the way you are going to offer that feedback. And so, setting up the context, <laughs> again, you set up the context by going to your partner when the moment is right, usually face to face, and you go like, hey, I'm facing some really challenging triggers in my field right now and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, is there a, mo a moment where we can do a, a shadow check, we can do a, um, you know, a, a check-in so that I can really voice and share what I have to voice to you, okay? So that's the second step. Instead of just walking to them and hitting them with your feedback, you go like, you ask for permission, you set up the container, <laughs> okay? This is very important. The moment you can sit down and start sharing, you know, the moment you have agreed to sit down and, and have a check-in or shadow check on that, then what you are going to do is Again, I love setting up timers, you know, for, for these kind of things. You set up the timer and say, you know what, I need 15 minutes to voice what I have to voice. I don't want to be interrupted. There might be some emotional charge. It might get a little bit intense in my voicing and in my sharing. But please stay present and hold space for that experience. Can you do that? Okay, that's the way you are going to express it or voice it. And then your partner is going to be like, yeah, okay, it looks like it's charged. Let me prepare. Let me just go to the bathroom. Let me get some water. Okay, here I am. I'm sitting down. I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm going to give you space to voice absolutely everything you have to say. Please um, don't go full volume because the kids are, are sleeping next door, but you know, keep it at 50% maybe. And uh, I'm not going to enter in reactive mode. I'm going to be here listening to what you have to say. Okay, so this is the context. This is the way to set it up in a way that is going to create connection between the two of you. Um, it's not entering into reactive mode. You had the space to actually digest the emotions a little bit, to feel them in your system, to identify exactly what it is that you want to voice. Once you open the space, once you open the space to actually voice what is alive in you, what I want you to do is very simple, is that the first thing is that you have to be very clear about what you want to say. Just, you know, being in free flow is great as well. But try to clarify in your mind what is the essence of what's frustrating me? What is the essence of what's challenging inside of me? What's the essence of what I want to say or what I want to voice? What is it that I want? I just Do I just want to complain, to vent? Is it something that I would like my partner to do that he's, he or she is not doing? 
you know. So, yeah, this is the idea. Um, and uh, once the, 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 the challenging feedback is being shared, then you just come back, pose both of you, thank each other, thank you for voicing your truth, thank you for being real, thank you for giving me the space to actually express what was real inside of me. And, um, and uh, yeah, I feel much better now that I voiced what was alive inside of me. So the partner who is receiving the feedback, you know, I'm going to give you a, a, another video on how to hold space, but basically what you want to do is be in a state of energetic emotional gratitude for that person having voiced what they had to voice. Gratitude for voicing. Thank you for voicing. I hear what you are saying. Let me take a moment to pause and reflect and integrate what you just said. This is a big piece. I feel really my body's trembling right now. I'm receiving it from a place of, but really grateful that you voiced what you had to voice. So when uh, you are sharing from that place, it's really, really powerful because you voice something that might have a certain degree of emotional intensity, but you didn't disconnect from your partner in the process of sharing. You went and you take a shadow dive, you go into intensity, but you stay present and connected. And if you were doing that sharing after a party, driving, you know, on the highway, etc., you're not present. It's not the right time. It's dangerous to do those sharing at that moment. So the challenging feedback, you want this to happen within this secure context. And your partner might be like, you know what? I hear what you're saying and I have no solution for you. I'm happy that you voiced what you had to voice and I've got nothing to add. I've got nothing to say. I don't know what to say. The things that I'm doing, I'm doing them because I love doing them and I'm not going to let them go. For instance, that might be a possibility. Or you might be like, you know what? I can see why you're triggered. I can totally see what, what I did wrong in that, in that situation. Let me amend that and in the future I'm going to behave differently. I will do my best to actually shift that behavior because you've got a point. Thank you for sharing your feedback. Okay? See, these are positive, powerful, access points into evolving your relationship, evolving yourself, receiving the feedback, and then turning that into a positive uh, challenge and opening experience. Something else, when you are sharing the challenging feedback, is that you can measure how much intensity, how much fire, how much aggressive energy you want to uh, <laughs> implement in your sharing. Are you supercharged? Well, like, Fuck you, Jesus Christ, I cannot believe you did that again to me. This has been a pattern for the last 10 years of our relationship and it keeps on coming and I feel abused, I feel neglected, I'm really angry with you right now. Okay, this is like a charge, it's maybe at 60, 70%. If it was 100%, it would be way more intense. I don't want to scare you right here. Another one that would be not intense is like, I feel... I feel sad. I feel neglected. I feel like you're not taking care of me. I feel like uh, we have been working on this thing for like the last two months and, and there is no, no response. I feel like you're not being responsive in this space. So you see, sharing from that place, now we are in a degree of emotional intensity, which is maybe at 5%. It's not intense. That's not a feedback that is intense to receive. When you blast somebody with fire and projection, yeah, that's intense. But this one might not be that intense. So when you offer this challenging feedback, learn the art of getting your message through. And sometimes there is an emotion that is really triggered and there's lots of fire. You feel like a volcano ready to explode. So it's okay to explode. It's okay to, but do that within a context that is safe where your partner is going to be really present to be able to hold space for you. Makes sense, right?